I found what I believe to be the world's first public showing of the new upcoming Sony RGB Mini LED TV, which could potentially be the Sony Bravia 10. Now, if you remember, when I visited Sony's headquarters in Tokyo for a deep dive into the technology, the media was not allowed to do any filming whatsoever to actually show off the TV. But here, I think, you know, it's definitely the Sony RGB Mini LED TV based on the stand design. If you look at the feet here, it actually curves inwards at the back end. And I don't know where I've seen this stand design before. Maybe previous Sony TVs, including the Bravia 9, including the Sony A95L. And now, what I think is likely to be the Sony RGB Mini LED TV. This is the 75-inch version, and beside it, we have a conventional white OLED. This is a 65-inch version. And again, from the taping of the logo and the stand, you can see that the taping is probably a bit more subtle than my pickup lines. We can probably surmise that this is an LG OLED. And to the right would be a conventional mini LED TV. And this again has a tape covering the logo and from the stand design and also the logo position, it is likely to be a Samsung mini LED TV. Now, if you look from the picture, you can definitely see the more vibrant colors, the higher luminance, the greater color volume that RGB Mini LED is providing. And how RGB Mini LED works to provide this sort of higher color gamut and luminance is because rather than using a white backlight, now we can individually control each red, green and blue LEDs. This allows for a purer color wavelength and therefore this expands the color gamut, allowing for higher color volume. And this will lower the power consumption as well because rather than using a white backlight, which eventually has to be filtered through a quantum dot enhanced film, it is all directly done from the LED side, which means that you can actually lower the power consumption and increase the view angle of axis as well. But certainly from what you can see from the camera, hopefully you can work out that it has significantly higher brightness, significantly more vibrant colors than the OLED and also the mini LED TV beside it. But obviously, we do not know what OLED and what mini LED models are used. But I firmly believe that the technology is sound. Now, to control these individual LEDs, you need a very powerful SoC. And this is where MediaTek's new MT9131 SoC comes in. It is a companion chip that works in conjunction with the MediaTek Pentonic chipset to control the backlight. And they have actually coined the term Columbia which stands for Color Luminance Backlight Estimation Algorithm. Now, I don't think this is an acronym that will make its way into the Urban Dictionary, but what this algorithm does is to try and estimate the backlight, the motion, and based on the video signal on screen, and control the R, G, and B LEDs in a manner that will minimize the artifacts and also reduce the latency. Up close, when I look at the picture, I can still see some shimmering or sparkling artifacts along edges of colored objects against a black background. But MediaTek tells me that it is currently only at the test prototype stage. The full mass production SoC will probably come out in August, in line with the estimation of the Sony new RGB Mini LED being available for launch maybe next year, 2026. Even though I believe that this TV is a Sony new RGB mini LED TV, I have to stress that this is a MediaTek demonstration and the software SoC and also hardware SoC is actually done by MediaTek for the purpose of this demonstration. On this particular prototype, it is using the MediaTek Pentonic 800 and also the companion chip, which is the MT9131. This component chip can actually be combined with most other Pentonic chipsets. So let's say if you combine it with the existing Pentonic 1000, then you will only have two HDMI 2.1 ports and maybe two HDMI 2.0 ports. Whereas if you combine it with the Pentonic 800, such as what is happening here, you will have four HDMI 2.1 ports. As I've reported from Computex last year, in case you haven't worked out, I'm at Computex again this year in Taiwan and I'm so happy to be able to see this new Sony RGB mini LED TV and bring it to you in a video. Now up top, you can probably see that it is the world's first SoC that can control 15,000 plus zones, but this zone count have to be divided by three because 
what MediaTek is referring to is that the red, green, and blue LEDs are counted as three separate zones. So they can control 5,000 zones. And from the prototype we saw at Sony headquarters earlier this year, that had around 4,000 zones. So it all falls in line. If you want to find out why we are so excited about RGB mini LED technology, especially the one by Sony, please check out my explanation video by clicking here.